so many women who go unrecorded and unlit and uncelebrated. I show up in the world in a way and challenge others to pay attention. There's some woman performing some miracle probably right next to you. At the very least, you should know her name. So for the women, the ones whose blood moves relentlessly on, the ones who wish to be important and the ones who know they already are, and to the ones who craned their necks over the sharp edge of midnight, the ones who dream their impossible lives can be fat with a sugared revolution. I know you've been keeping stars in your eyes, though daggers have been at your throats. I know you practice the forgetting of fear for the ones who were never told they are worthy of every good and perfect thing for the ones who made the bread and worked the fields and suffered the sun on their backs. We have tried, grandmother. We've tried to shut up our own souls in agreement with history, to remain quiet, ignore the misinterpretations about what it means to be born a woman, how we are to obligate our mouths to silence. We know we, the faceless many, who revenge ourselves by insisting on the sound of our unbroken flesh. We never meant to be so symbolic, so sacrificial. We didn't mean to tip the awkward balance of who should have and who should get and who should be. We meant only to exist on our own terms, in our own handwriting. We have felt our bones reconstitute themselves to totems stretching out past the margins of our own delicate soft. We, the frightened ones, because who is not afraid of using themselves to the hilt, of being so tender, so used and unused at the same time? Who is not afraid of knowing a wild hunger? What soul is not afraid of becoming a wolf to go looking for yourself in resistance to your own destruction. We, with our absurd faith that all of this has been a rehearsal, some strange experiment in suffering. Listen, we are not charity cases, not victims, not history's bad luck accidents. What a whimsical thing to be a girl, to burst through human skin this way, so to the holding on ones, the deliberate ones, the trying ones, the soon and very soon ones, just praise. Praise your body and the way you woke up this morning. Praise, praise the miracle and the mess. Praise the language you were born with and the ones you're learning. Praise the opening of the gate. Praise the girl you were, the woman you're becoming. Praise the becoming. Praise the journey. Praise the fight. Praise the wherewithal. Praise. Praise the riding of wind without asking permission. Praise. Praise the universe in your rib cage. Praise the trench that taught you about darkness. And praise the day you dance naked in the light. Just praise. Praise the laughter that lives in your belly. Praise the garden you can plant in your bones. Praise. Praise the bamboo your spine can become. Praise the stories you kept and the ones you didn't. Praise. Praise your fists and the way you do not use them. Praise your fists and the way you know how to use them. Praise. Praise your mouth. Your wide open mouth for how confessional it is and your straight back, your unbound head. Praise the atoms and the cells that make your body stand up like cathedral and praise that there is so much of you left. And praise, praise the otherworldly algorithm of your heart, especially that. Revolution is the sound of your heart still beating. So praise.